Yes, sir. Peace to the Worldwide Network family. It's your good brother, Sir Bay, tapping in with TWN Billboard. Let's get to it. When we pull up to the party, say what's up. Pull Up has a lot of dope energy, man. Pull Up is fun. Pull Up was a very fun record, very fun video. Uh, it just highlights my fun side, a fun aspect of me. You know, everybody likes to have fun. I'm a party animal, you know, uh, when, it, when it's time for that, you know what I mean? But yeah, Pull Up is just fun, man. It's just about having fun. I'm one of them people that when I go out, I like to have fun and make sure everybody that's with me has fun. I like to make sure everybody has their, you know what I mean? Their essentials, everybody's having a good time, comfortable, so we can all collectively enjoy the moment and the time shared. So, pull up with just that, man. I can like the mind of a savage. I can never live average. Wild kings live lavish. Buck 50 in a lamb, never crash it. In control, Janet. Traffic hall, jamming. Pull up game, outstanding. Actually, it wasn't a limo, it was a party bus. Um, and my wife's cousin owned the party bus, so I rented it out from him. You know, keep that dollar circulating. So I rented out his party bus, called up a couple homegirls who called some homegirls, you know, friends. Come on, hop on the bus, everything taken care of. We just gonna ride through the city, shoot a video. And then that's what you saw. You know, we picked up a couple girls from um, the Candy Bar, you know, a local uh, establishment out here in uh, Southside Richmond 804, you know, and uh, it was a ball, man. We had fun. Um, the, the van that we used um, was great. The driver was cool. And we just had a great time. They got you glitz. King flocking, no group will go to see the weather. When trouble comes knocking, now you know I just answer. Black mama mo, feeling like I'm six feet. Bring the whole squad still solid like I'm punk. <laughs> no trace came about. Um, we have a platform in Barbados which brings awareness. Well, the platform is trained to spread awareness of the um, rap hip hop culture in Barbados on Instagram. Um, so I guess um, they had questioned what to what artist they would you would like to see collab together. So it just happened that me, I've never met, I never knew him from before, but um, like that, I should say, didn't know him personally or anything like that, but someone had put me in grind. So after I had seen that, I just hit him up in his DM and asked him if he <laughs> don't for no choice. <laughs> and um, so basically what had happened was he was like, yeah, whatever. So I sourced the beat. Mm put on my bars and then sent it to him and he was like, yeah, he definitely on that shit. So it went from there, that's how it happened. Um, no trace, what is no trace? <laughs> exactly what it says, no trace. <laughs> Just roll it in the paper cause I do not fuck with swishers. Gang, up down with the killers. I clock 17 with a hairpin trigger. Generation four, yeah, this my newest member. One gun, two clips, Mimi clips, you remember? So the video was shot at JP HP Studios. Boom. Um, the black and white floor was basically to um, represent my background. Um, I mix between black and white. You know, if you pay really close attention, I don't think that I would really have to say the rest, basically, you know, for the visuals. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out on YouTube. No choice, feature Mimi Glitz and Young Green. Well, you know, the these days video is a collective track, right? There's seven hours on there, and um, you know, for me, one of the things when we've done the whole dinner jacket thing, which embodied what the actual storyline of the video was, the dashiki cut gave us a chance to express that, you know, the, the vibrance, the colorful vibrance that you get with a lot of uh, African outfits, you know, in the African culture, we like colors, right? When you 
watch the video you can see there's one thing that's common with all the artists we're all of African heritage um, so obviously for me it was beneficial to flip the script and say you know from an African perspective when you see us doing Western music and we hold it down there's, uh, there's uh, the African cultural side that I wanted to represent but to also show the juxtaposition of us standing there doing these days you know Hey yo, I was big in the air, something sexy but lavish Told her all I really need was one night in Paris Made it quite clear right there, I'm a savage Face looked shocked, you can see she was embarrassed Her reply was my surprise, I asked if I can manage Told her I'ma get her hooked like I was a habit She's gonna need me every day like she was an addict But all jokes aside though, mum used the baddest